So excited, my favorite topic, TEDx Miguel. Oh. Okay, um, so just a quick overview. Uh, TEDx Miguel really started with a Facebook message to my 500 closest friends. Um, and luckily, some of them answered. And we started planning for our event, which was November 5th, uh, 2009. We started planning five months in advance. Uh, not a lot of time. And we were hoping for something small, about 100 attendees. Uh, when we started advertising it, people were always like, like, who's this Ted? Like, is he in engineering? Is he in computer science? What is he taking? But then once we explained it, people started to get the picture, and we just told them, trust us, Ted is going to change your lives. So we started planning it. Open registration, two hours, bam, sold out. S three days later, we had tripled our attendee list. Oh my god, what are we going to do? So after five months of full-term courses, a last-minute venue change, adding new speakers, we somehow pulled it off. And I don't know how I did it on three hours of sleep for weeks and weeks and weeks, but something pulled me through. And I think the biggest thing was spreading the ideas of our student speakers. So just to follow up on what David was talking about, uh, we made a commitment to have 50% of our speakers be students. And we did this for a number of reasons. McGill do doesn't really have an outlet for students to talk about original ideas that they're really passionate about. We also wanted to give them um, a little bit of confidence, give their ideas confidence by having them speak beside alumni and professors and other guest speakers. And also we kind of wanted to change McGill's reputation a bit. We're really well known for our faculty and their research, but not a lot of people know about the ideas. So we decided that you know those are what we're going to strive for, and we pulled it off, which was great. But it took tons of hard work. So a month of prep, making, meeting weekly with our speakers committee, um, we worked really hard on it, but there were also a couple of challenges. <laughs> Lots of the speakers were not confident. Um, they didn't think they deserved to be up there speaking in front of 300 people, but we told them, listen, this is just the beginning of your ideas. This isn't the end all be all. Just make sure that you, know, you try and do it in its purest form. So um, they all presented amazingly, the best we had ever seen them present. And a lot of their ideas are now flourishing into action. So we're very proud of that. Um, and I really hope that every TEDx organizer considers including students into their program because they take more risk. They don't have anything to lose. They don't have books published. They don't have papers, anything like that. So they're more willing to kind of present their ideas in their purest forms. So thank you very much. I think I'm done.